and as you'd expect, reactions emerged after the High Court dismissed the petition. And a section of individuals from the LGBTQ community now claim that they will not relent in their quest for justice as their rights are being undermined. The LGBT community was all glammed up, ready to face the judges with hope that their petition will be heard and decriminalized by a three-bench judge led by Rosalina Burili, Judge Nigoti, and Joseph Mativo. <laughs> Following the dismissal of the petition by the LGBT community by a three-bench judge led by Judge Rosalina Burili, a section of the members have come out terming the move as unfair and a violation to their rights, thus placing them in danger. Uh, I think we have to petition, we have to fight for our rights, we have to know that this is right for us or this is not right for us or this is wrong for us because this is this is who we are and we 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 struggling to live our lives because now um, i'm just a, i'm just a ugandan person living my life in kenya because refugees kenya from burundian but sija happy na hii kesi walisema because sijui kuanzia saa hii nitaenda wapi Lawyer Charles Kanjama representing the Christian community has come out applauding the move by the court to dismiss the petition and I think this is maybe the first time where the quality and quantity of evidence that we presented to the court about uh, what is homosexuality and that it is not an innate uh, behavior it is something which you can make a choice for for the LGBT community, all hope is not gone. Still, they are determined to fight for their rights, promising to storm the Supreme Court to challenge the ruling by the High Court. Following a series of court cases in favor of transgender rights, the court has finally dismissed the petition by the LGBT on basis it is against the values and the principles of the country. Jamie Kiboy for KUTV in Nairobi County.